Chapter 3 An Object Lesson Every camp meeting should be an object lesson of neatness, order, and good taste. We must give careful regard to economy and must avoid display, but everything connected with the grounds should be neat and tidy. Taste and tact do much to attract, and in all our work we should present the discipline of organization and order. Everything should be so arranged as to impress both our own people and the world with its sacredness and importance of the work of God. The regulations observed in the encampment of the Israelites are an example to us. It was Christ who gave them those special instructions to Israel, and he intended them for us also, upon whom the ends of the world are come. We should study carefully the specifications of God's word and practice these directions as the will of God. Let everything connected with the encampment be pure, wholesome, and cleanly. Special attention should be given to all sanitary arrangements, and men of sound judgment and discernment should see that nothing is permitted to sow the seeds of sickness and death throughout the encampment. The tents should be securely staked, and whenever there is liability of rain, every tent should be trenched. On no account let this be neglected. Serious and even fatal illness has been contracted through neglect of this precaution. We should feel that we are representatives of truth of heavenly origin. We are to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We should ever bear in mind that angels of God are walking through the encampment, beholding the order and arrangement in every tent. To the large numbers of people who come to the ground, all the arrangements are an illustration of the belief and principles of the people conducting the meeting. It should be the very best illustration possible. All the surroundings should be a lesson, especially should the family tents, in their neatness and order, giving a glimpse of home life, be a constant sermon as to the habits, customs, and practices of Seventh-day Adventists.